Hey everyone, Jonathan from Rain Brothers here. Uh, I wanted to go over with you a new pump that we have uh, on our product line. Uh, if you remember, you may have seen our old video for this uh, Franklin Electric cistern pump, which is a it's a great uh, cistern pump specifically designed for rainwater catchment systems. Uh, but the new the new pump that we have is actually made by Grundfos. Uh, it, it's a, a great unit and it's actually an all-in-one pump pumping system instead of hooking up a pressure tank and a tank tee with your pump like you had to do with the Franklin pump this one has all the pump controls internal into the into the body of the pump so it actually has a flow sensor in the body that detects when there's a drop in flow or, or a, a, a demand for flow it kicks the pump on automatically sends water to where you need it uh, to go uh, pressurized of course and then as you shut a valve it detects that there's a lack of flow uh, and shuts the pump down uh, so again all the pump controls are internal you don't need a pressure tank with it you don't need a, uh, a pressure switch to operate the pump all you need is the pump itself and a 110 volt 115 volt outlet uh, the pump comes with 33 feet of, of cable uh, it's a plug-and-play system, so you just plug it into a wall outlet. That's you want to make sure it's a dedicated circuit, that the pump it's, is the only thing on that outlet. It, pump, it pulls 9.8 amps on a 115 volt circuit. Uh, additionally, the pump comes with a float switch on the, on the side. And this float switch, uh, normally the, the tank that you have will have water in it, hopefully. Of course, the float switch will float up in that case and the pump will run uh, as long as there's demand for flow. In low level situations, the float switch sinks and at this point it cuts off the water supply uh, so, that it doesn't, so that the pump doesn't continue to run during low level scenarios and the pump uh, risks running dry. So it's a, it's a pump safeguard and of course the, it is tethered to the side of the pump so if you want more of a uh, tether to it, you can adjust it by just pulling the cord out and pushing it back into the tether point. Uh, so you can, there is some customization there. Additionally, uh, the last thing I'll note about the pump is that it comes with an intake screen, and this is a, this is a filter screen to keep uh, debris from getting clogged up into the impellers, into the inner workings of the pumping system. Now, the, as for the top of the pump, it's, uh, it's cast with a one inch uh, female uh, cast uh, or stainless steel uh, fitting and that will accept any one inch male thread so in this case we're ready to hook up this pump this is a customized tank that we're putting together for someone we have a bulkhead on the side here this is the pump outlet and in order to connect it to the inside of the tank we're just going to put some Teflon tape on the male threads of this pipe this will be our supply line We'll thread it into the top of the pump, and of course, uh, if this was a real installation, we'd be using a pipe wrench to, to get it tight on there. And then we would set the uh, set the tank, set the pump inside the tank by lowering it in either by the drop pipe here, or there's a a eyelet on the on the top of the pump that you can put a, a rope through to uh, secure to securely hold the pump upright as you're lowering it into your tank or into your underground reservoir. So it's a real easy pump to set up. Again, all you need to do is hook up your supply line to the pump itself, plug it in. As long as you're op you have a valve open and it's demanding flow, that flow sen sensor will kick the pump on and shoot it to where it needs to go. It's a great pump, uh, very user-friendly, makes installation much easier, and a very cost-effective unit. Thank you very much for watching, and if, uh, if you'd like more information about this pump or would you like to, you'd like to order it, please visit our website at www.rainbrothers.com.